Hi, I'm Erica Gamet with Creative Pro, and I want to talk to you about a cool InDesign add-on from Creative Pro partner Ajar Productions. It's called In5, and it's nothing short of magic. In5 lets you take your InDesign layout, add interactive features, and then export to HTML. First, let me give you a small taste of what you can achieve with In5. For this file, I've taken a print version of a Creative Pro event brochure and created an interactive layout that folks can view in a browser. I've added some animation to make these little people slide in, and I've created hyperlinks to the instructor's pages and the sessions that they're doing. And that's just the beginning, but let's jump back to the InDesign file and take a look at some of the other interactivity in there. Here are the little people animations, and there's also this multi-state object, or MSO, which we'll look at in just a few minutes. This is an invisible button to trigger an MSO with a video pop-up in it. We have hyperlinks to the conference site and some buttons on the session description. And then there's this map on the back page. This is for the print version, but I'm going to turn off all the layers that make up the map. And then I'm going to turn on this layer. And I can see this frame contains some embedded HTML. What I've done is embedded a Google map of the conference location and the surrounding areas. Before exporting, let's add one more interactive feature. I'm going to use one of the slick features of In5, the Build Wizard. It's here in the In5 menu under Build Wizards. I'm going to add a sliding door navigation menu. Choose these options. I need to choose which paragraph style it needs to grab to throw into the menu. And then I'm going to say Build it. Now that it's done, I can see that it's made up of buttons with some animation. Now, if we wanted this to behave differently, we could adjust the elements and change up the animation direction, etc. They're still just InDesign elements. The build wizard just went ahead and built the objects for us. Let's look at this in the EPUB previewer really quickly. I want to make sure I'm viewing all the spreads so I can see all the interactivity, especially with the menu. But remember, this isn't an EPUB, so it's not going to be exactly the same as the IN5 output. It just gives us a really good idea. Here's the menu that we just made. And this pop-up was also built with a build wizard. And it's also totally customizable. OK, let's export this whole file. I'm going to use the handy Easy Export Wizard, which does just what it says. It makes the export easy. I'm going to choose Flipbook since I want to kind of mimic the printed version of the brochure. I'll choose Pixel Perfect, which captures the look and feel of the layout. And then we can dip into the Advanced Mode, which basically just brings us back to the regular Export Options dialog box. We could make any other changes that we want to at this point, but I'm just going to leave it all as is and click OK. Now I have a lot of items. It's got to crunch through a lot on Export. But when it's done, I have the option to view it in the default browser. So here's the menu that we created. Here's the hidden button with the video pop-up. And this MSO that I said we'd look at is actually a 3D flip card, and that was built with one of the built-in in5 widgets. Here's that session info pop-up. And here's the embedded Google map. Remember, this was exported directly from InDesign using In5 with no coding necessary. Now, what do I do from here? Well, most people will want to host this somewhere online, and that where is up to you. It's your file, your output to do with what you'd like. If I go back to InDesign, I can choose the enclosing folder. This is the content that was just exported from InDesign. That content needs to stay together, and you can zip it up, and you could upload it to your own site. You can even put it on WordPress using a JARS WordPress plugin. In5 offers so much interactivity. I didn't even mention parallax view, fixed positioning for elements. You can even create responsive layouts. Visit the In5 homepage at in5.us to download a demo version now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.